<laughs> well, isn't it like the hometown spot you would skate? Like, is that kind of done right now? Channel no. Street? Uh, the word is April. Oh, they're gonna be oh. now. What? Let's let, let's talk about that because you you're probably the only person that we know that's closest to this, you know, and then and that's sitting right here right now. We and can talk actually about skates it. it that yeah, we yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I I've mean, been there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did you do? I drove by it. Whoa. I was <laughs> right, yeah, I just, Ravens game. Wanted what to see it. <laughs> wanted to see it. I drove by it. Damn. Yeah. No, I actually pulled up in the parking lot and looked through the fence. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. I looked through the fence. Uh, what did you see? Nothing. It was closed. Barriers. It was barriers yeah. and shit. <laughs> it's sad. Yeah. No, but what happened though? Initially, it was a, a DIY spot mm-hmm. that just got huge yeah. and it's under the bridge. And what happened? The city just said, okay, no more. This is getting out of control. What it's happened? An, it's not even, not even that. Like, uh, they needed to build in another section of the freeway on the Harry Bridges. So Harry Bridges. They didn't even close the skate park down when they were building that. They were halfway done, and I think someone might have gotten hurt. Like the police have gotten called, and Harbor Division was like, "You guys don't need to be down here." Oh. And so they closed the skate park down. Like we're closing it in April. We're gonna open it up next year in April. That was five years ago. Wow. Yeah. These like the process that all the guys have been going through to get the skate park open has just been nothing but madness. Like mad respect to mad respect and not so much respect in some ways to the dude, Joe Buscaino, uh-huh. who's been like walking through the guys through the process. Like anybody who's anybody that's been working hard to get the park open. Thank you. But it's just been a shit show. Now the guy that you mentioned, is he with the city? Yeah. Oh, okay. I get it. Like morally, Every like everybody wants to be involved in a movement like that, you know. You put the face on. I'm this guy, and I care about skateboarding, and I care about these people that want to get their park open. It's like, it's at the end of the day, it's your job. Sure. And unless he genuinely cares about what he's doing for us, then that's cool. Mm-hmm. But it's like you can kind of read people like that. You can see it in their eyes, like. Yeah, man, like, we're here at Channel Street, like, trying to get it open. Like, if you if we were really doing it, like, it wouldn't have taken Yeah, like, how hard is it to... to, Well, well, now, the... Everything was signed off. Now, all we need is um, safety guardrails and uh, drainage out into the street. Oh, interesting. Drainage. That's it. How do you build drainage? Yeah, how does that... uh, Just, like, any old regular skate park, like, bottom of the bowl, there's a drain, Mm -hmm. just so it doesn't get clogged up, but, like... We didn't even care. As young kids, we were just, oh, there's water in the bowl. Looks like I've got to get some buckets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take that shit out. Yeah. yeah. No if doubt. we don't do it, no one's going to do it. Right. Yeah. But that, but that's city code. That's code. Yeah. For no, their, of course. Yeah. 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 By all means, like in skateboarding, uh, we're all outlaws. Mm-hmm. Sure. Straight up. Yeah. We trespass. We skate things that aren't supposed to be skated. Right. Some more break stuff that we're not supposed to be breaking, you know, like that's yeah. So like Kelly. hearing about <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. so, so hearing about like breaking hearts over there. Yeah. <laughs> hearing about like drains and like guardrails, like in our eyes, like we don't give a shit. Yeah. Who's gonna fall over? We get it. For people that don't skate, they want to bring their families, their young children, or whatever. You know, we get it. It's sure. safe for them. Guardrails, drains. Like we've been taking the water out ourselves this, <laughs> as long as it's been up. Like, right. As long it as I can. Nice if it just drains itself. Yeah. As long that as I can. Good. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like, be good. But if that fucking drain doesn't work, we're gonna be pissed. Because like, <laughs> I swear, <laughs> the if buckets. it gets clogged with dirt, right, <laughs> and right. all the water just gets stuck, all of that would have been for nothing. Damn. Damn. So it's <laughs> been a process, bro. It has, even like vans. Vans threw down 25k for the park. Oh wow! And they're going to be sponsoring it. The ongoing whatever, like oh, whatever keep, upkeep, yeah, and stuff. whatever Channel Street oh, wants to amazing. do, they're going to they're promoting it and they're they're, they're putting funds it? in. They're backing it. That's and amazing. I, incredible. Super and I sick. can't believe that. Like yeah, like I'm. We're super grateful. Like Fucking it's insane. Amazing. And yeah. for the guys that are like like Andy Harris, Yamo, like Rob O'Connell, Gabe, Bill. There's so many other dudes that like go through this gnarly process mm-hmm. to keep this park. And these guys have families. Are these guys that built the park originally? Yeah, and they have jobs that they go to every day. They have families that they have to provide for, but yet they're still down there wow. trying to get this park going, not even for us, just for like the next generation. Because, yeah. you know, like if it wasn't for Channel Street, like I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you guys about this. <laughs> like, it's true. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I wouldn't be here. 
So fans, is, that's incredible. Mm -hmm. So they're saying April is the opening. They're saying April is the opening. And I like, that's what we're gunning for. Yeah. Yeah. That's the word that's in the air. And that's what we're going for. And I, I really hope it does happen because God damn, it's been way too long. It's to the point where it's just like somebody asked me, they're like, like, how do you feel about it? I'm like, dude, I don't. You don't even think about it anymore, it's, probably. It's been five years. Like, yeah. I drive by it. I'm like, damn, that's a place where, like, I grew up skateboarding. And I have so many memories there. And it's all gone. Like, I lost out on five years of that park because of this whole process. Like, god damn. Like, Seriously. Did, did five almost, years went by like that. You and Robbie Russo. Yeah. 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 Did and it, it like, almost feel dead at one point? Yeah. Like, yeah. like it wasn't coming back, it felt like? No, it. yeah. I thought it was going to get torn down. But it's like, mm. if we would have caught wind that it was getting torn down... I'm not the type of person to stand there and let something like that happen. Like we're going straight, like back hippie style. Let's chain, chain ourselves. ourselves to the, to the, right, right. Uh, Channel nine news will be there in a minute. Yeah. yeah. We're taking sledgehammers. <laughs> Keep your burners at home uh, slash guns. Keep them at home. It's not getting that crazy, but right, right, we're, right. we're going to defend the skate park. But it didn't, it didn't escalate like that. Wow. What and, crazy. Fucking... But they, in the time frame of five years, they built another skate park that Lance Mountain had designed up mm -hmm. on Peck Park. Yep, yep. It's a, I've shared my opinions about it. Uh, and Lance didn't like them. Okay. But it's okay. it's all right. Like, you know, yeah. it's. Well, look, look where you grew up skating. Exactly. And then yeah. look what, the, you know, uh, a manufactured yeah. place to skateboard. I do like Peck Park. I skate there almost every day. Yeah. And I'm thankful that they put a second skate park in San Pedro. Probably would have never seen it if it wasn't for Channel. There wouldn't be a skate park in Pedro if it wasn't for Channel Street. Now there's two. Yeah. And so like, and for Lance to take the time out and design it, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And thanks to the park builders that did it, you know, like it's a fucking gnarly process. It's amazing. Yeah. 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 And all these parks that are just shooting up out of the ground right now, like let's keep it going. Like, do you, I mean, but I get it though, like. The Olympics is happening yeah. as we speak. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, like I think coronavirus is trying to stop it though. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Escape, it's, right? it's just a public it's a it's a public effect. Like yeah. <laughs> people are dying. We shouldn't do the Olympics. But it's it is what it is. But anyways, uh, aside from that, yeah, yeah. but this <laughs> <laughs> it just I just wanna see more skate parks because I wanna see more skateboarders. Right. Not not going on Instagram, not wanting to get sponsored, just falling in love with skateboarding the way that I did. Yeah. You know, like totally watching old P Stone videos and Thrasher videos like Buster Bale, some dudes like <laughs> sacking a rail and doing a scorpion right after. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Like yeah. crazy, right? Like, I don't want to do that, but you know, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'd be more, you want to go for it. Though. I'd be no, more than willing sure. to try it. Yeah. Like, yeah. To, to like, you know, I don't you know, I like my testicles. I don't want to lose them, but you know, just <laughs> that makes two of us. Just, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I can't speak for Raj and Kelly, but you know, I'm with uh, you guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Okay.